Hey everybody, welcome to week six. There are four more weeks in school, I can't believe it. Um, this is our last week of April. May starts this week, which is crazy. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I miss you guys terribly. I can't wait to see you. I hope that we can have a picnic this summer to say goodbye. So um, you guys can do this. There's only four more Mondays. There's only four more math Zooms. There's only four more weeks. You can do it. Um, this week is super fun. It starts at the beginning of a new project. It's called The Circle of Life. It may sound familiar. It's from The Lion King. We're going to be studying a lot of different life cycles. So I challenge you to get out and um, see what's going on. It's spring. There's stuff growing from plants to animals. Anything you want, journal, document, make predictions about what is going to come next, what the next stage will look like, and then follow back up. See if you were right. You will be writing your own nonfiction book in this um, unit. So we're going to be doing a lot with nonfiction. You are going to choose an animal and you're going to write a nonfiction book based on that animal and tell us all of the great things about that animal. So um, with that being said, there is new um, a new website that we're going to use and it's called stem scopes so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you now so you can see what it's like to find stem scopes what you're going to do is you're going to go um, you're going to be logged into your google so i can see my picture here you guys won't have that but you'll be logged into your account you're going to click your waffle you're going to scroll down 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 and you're going to look for an icon that looks like this circle it's red blue yellow and green and it says stem scopes so you're going to go to the stem scopes this is what my teacher screen looks like but this is a cool new science program science curriculum uh, that you'll be using next year completely in fourth grade so they've given it to us now and you're going to be studying the life cycles so in this, I've gone ahead and sent you a video. I have assigned a worksheet for review of the video, and it talks about the differences of different life cycles for different species. So, but a life cycle always repeats. It's like a pattern, it just keeps going. So know that you will be making your own book, like I said, so you can start thinking about maybe an animal that interests you, I know some of you already have favorite animals, but I would ask that you maybe choose a new animal so you can really push yourself outside of that comfort box and learn about a new animal and not one that you already know a lot about. So there will continue to be stuff in Seesaw, Raz Kids. Um, we're gonna do writing, reading. You need to be doing your I Ready Minutes, 45 and 45 of each. So if ands or buts, there's phonics. You do have to do your sort and please watch my videos. Please, please, please. Um, I won't be able to have one-on-ones with you unless you've watched my videos because I'm just running out of time. And um, so anyway, those videos really are designed to help you. So that way you don't have as many questions and there aren't as many gaps in what you're missing. So. Anyway, that's kind of a rundown for the week. We'll keep doing the Lemonade War, and we're jumping on into a new project, which I'm really excited about. So you will need to get your book of knowledge out, because that's going to be your science notebook. Um, I'm ordering some creatures that we're going to watch and make predictions and kind of guess what you think is going to happen next in their life cycle. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. I think it's going to be awesome. Only four more weeks to go. We're in week six. All right. Love you guys.